In this video, we will see how we can access uh, SOAP APIs in Oracle Fusion Cloud Groovy. So uh, we have this uh, REST uh, SOAP API uh, reference document. And uh, uh, so we'll be taking sales, cl sales cloud account uh, Vistel as uh, endpoint. Okay, so first uh, to use any SOAP API or REST API, so we must register uh, the web service in uh, web services section, right? So we go to web services and then we need to register a new service with the type of SOAP. And then we need to give the uh, reference name, uh, SOAP API name. Okay, so this is my name and I need to give this uh, visitor URL and then take the uh, server name and replace with this, uh, with the server name here. Uh, so just remove this extra slash and then um, once you come out of this, so it will automatically read the visitor and it will show the service and then port. So even if it is not reading, you can just click on the read visitor and then it will load the services uh, and ports available within this uh, visitor URL. So this particular service is uh, supporting only one service and one port, but some, uh, some uh, visitors will support multiple services and multiple ports. So in those case scenarios, we need to select the relevant service and port accordingly. So especially for uh, accessing reports, uh, uh, BI, BI analysis reports. So we might need to choose a different service and both. So it depends on the uh, visitor also. Then choose the authentication. Okay. So um, by default, some of the authentication methods are um, disabled. So you can choose the uh, supported uh, authentication methods. So in this, scenario we can use basic authentication or we can also use propagate user identity using saml that is the logged in user so it is it, it takes automatically with the current uh, user so now we have uh, created a web service successfully now we need to invoke uh, this web service uh, in in groovy So for that, I'll go to opportunity. And from opportunity, I'm trying to create, I'm trying to access this web service. So for that, I'll go to uh, server scripts. Okay, I'll use before update trigger. And this is my uh, Groovy Groovy work, uh, Groovy panel. So here, uh, if you go to this function palette, and if you go to uh, the web services section, last section, and we should see the um, the services we have registered. So we have registered Fusion account service. So if you select this, um, so automatically we can see the supported uh, uh, functions, right? So the supported uh, functions are operations here, uh, like this, get account, current account, create account, update account, delete account, merge account, find account, etc. So if we want to create an account, um, so we just need to select that account. We just need to select this operation. And by default, um, it, it gives the um, sample payloads or the structure of the so, um, I mean, the request we need to uh, give. So just insert. So, this is the web service, adf dot web services dot uh, the web service name dot operation. So, 
uh, in rest api we use the uh, web service dot dot post or patch or get etc right delete so here it is based on operation so if it is a create account so we need to use this create account if you select a different operation so so based on that the um, the 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 operation will get changed here and uh, once you select this um, it automatically gives some sample payload so if you if you see here uh, there is a sample uh, code is already given it's not fully visible so i'm just copying it here and then i'm i'll be i'll paste in a notepad okay so this is the there's a sample quote uh, it is provided okay, i'll copy this and i'll paste here okay you can see for creating an account uh, so it gives entire uh, fields or uh, definition list so we need to choose our own uh, fields and then we need to uh, uh, it is expecting basically a map uh, a map uh, with with a variable called uh, account and that map we will give here we'll use we will provide to this web service uh, we will define all the all the uh, collections etc uh, i mean child accounts etc all in in a single map so we just need to provide some of the mandatory fields for now uh, i'll give a organization name and then um, the address So we have this primary address, so we can provide this. So uh, you can also observe one thing here. Um, let me show you. I'm removing the, uh, uh, I'm keeping only the necessary fields which are required and I'm keeping uh, a minimum fields. So that is all, that's all required. In, in address basically country is enough so if you see the difference between primary address and sales team member sales team member allows multiple uh, records right but primary address is only one record so that's why uh, so it it is having a single uh, single uh, brackets and here it is double and even for note uh, it is the same so if I don't want a uh, note, I can remove this uh, section. And by default, I uh, if you if you want to pass any uh, if you want to pass multiple um, team members, you can keep it uh, comma and then you can provide one more uh, resource here. This is how you can pass uh, multiple team members for this record. for now um, i even don't want uh, sales team members the owner will automatically add so and i'll and, and and then i'll pass the primary address So this is a long text field. It is ex ex uh, expecting object value. So maybe we need to give in the form of base64 for long text fields. Okay, 
but this is the uh, request that we need to uh, provide now. So we have the payload and then we have the web service. We have defined. This is for creating an account. Let me copy this. So now we have a, a payload for account and then uh, we have create operation and then we will use the same value. Yeah, this, this is all uh, we have and then we'll validate and then save the code now we go to opportunities and then since we have written on before update on opportunity i'm going to update one of the opportunity here And I will save. It's updated. And now if I go to accounts, I should be able to see the account created. You can see demo account Intel services got created. So this is how we can access uh, the um, create account service. So similarly for other uh, operations, so we can we can use. And suppose if we want to use get operation, we can go to web service and select the web service and choose get account so you, you need to provide the party ID. If this is the target party ID. Because if I want to get the target party ID associated to this account, so I can use this. Okay, so we will enable the log messages. And then I'll go to one of the opportunity where I have the account. Okay, uh, so I'll take this lender INC, lender INC. So um, if I update uh, this opportunity now, uh, so in println, I should be able to see. Uh, one account created and one get uh, operation and that account should retrieve the data of this uh, Lightner account okay. and saving okay. 
then I'll go to application composer pack. And now I can see two responses, right? Uh, the one is, uh, this is the, uh, the new account created, demo account Intel and the current time. So that is the uh, name we have given. The second uh, payload is the creation, I mean, the get account of uh, the target party ID of the uh, opportun opportunity. So that is, you should be able to see the organization name. But this is the uh, the value of the value for the uh, party number uh, that is associated to uh, the opportunity account. Okay, so um, so we we printed both the responses, and and using this uh, response uh, we can uh, get uh, the values. We can retrieve the values within Google. So this is how we can use uh, SOAP APIs in Groovy. Suppose if we have the uh, response like this, uh, right? Uh, so we take the response and then we take the uh, response dot value because uh, so it is in value, right? So within value, we have this response. Uh, that's why we take the response dot value dot credit hold. Um, so uh, here, if you just want the organization name, so we can choose value dot organization name. And if it is a, a collection, so we need to go to that collection and then we need to, if it, if it is multiple records, we need to take the first uh, record and then we need to get the value. So that is how we can access the SOAP uh, response. Okay. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll publish uh, an article. So for these uh, SOAP API uh, accessing examples. So that is all about this video.